Feeling blue that Game of Thrones is over? Well, check out George R.R. R. Martin's original masterpiece in paperback and leatherback form. It is the featured item of the day. Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your entrepreneur, and let's talk about Domino's Pizza today. Now, why are we talking about Domino's? Because they're not an app delivery service. I mean, when you work for Domino's, you're not an independent contractor. It's not part of the gig economy. You are very, very clearly an employee at Domino's. You do not set your own schedule. So why are we talking about Domino's? Well, we are talking about Domino's because Domino's is testing something out in Michigan. They are testing out their first autonomous vehicle delivery car. Now, what this is, is it's a specified branded, like, well, you can see right there in the photo. Um, it is a car that's got um, Domino's logo on it, and it advertises that it is driver free that you know and you come to the car to pick up the pizza it decides all of that um and of course no one's driving it well that's at least it's they hope someday no one will drive it um domino's has teamed up with ford for these cars and random people random customers will be selected to participate where instead of a delivery driver boy bringing the pizza up to you you go to the car and you pick up the pizza from the car. The car even has an oven inside of it. Now, what's of course interesting about this test is that first of all, it is on random customers uh, and there is a mechanic who's in the car the whole time because these cars cannot drive themselves yet. I mean, they can, but they can't, so they need someone in there. So it's really not self-driving yet. I, I actually don't even know why they're even bothering with the self-driving test features. Why don't they just see if people even come to the curb to pick up their food because um, I personally have done one food delivery for Uber Eats. And while it was a pleasant experience and the person gave me a tip, they were definitely confused by the fact that I didn't come to the door with the food because the app, it's a curbside service. I think people are just used to having their food delivered to their door. Um, I think for apartments that's gonna need to change, but you know, anyway. So I, I kind of wonder what how people are going to react to this. Um, I mean, I know that some people think it's cool, but I have to be honest, people are not always technology literate. And I say that with the most due respect, but some people are frankly morons. Like take ATMs. We have had ATMs for years, 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 years. And yet every time I'm in line with someone who's in a, at an ATM, very few people seem to actively know how to use it. They are so slow when they use it. They don't seem to know what to do. And it's not even like it's very difficult. You put your card in, it's like, do you want to deposit, withdraw, oh, withdraw. Would you like it to be from checking or savings? Checking, how much would you like? It's not that difficult. And yet some people just stand there for a long time trying to figure it out. Obviously there's gonna be some computerization that is gonna be required so that you know what pizza is yours. How are the cars going to sort the orders? Um, will these cars have a limit to how many pizzas? What happens if someone decides they want to have 15 pizzas delivered, which when I was a delivery boy for Roundtable, that was actually way more common than you would think. Um, those are the people that are not gonna wanna come to the car. So it's interesting that they are researching this. I am gonna make a prediction. I personally predict that Domino's is going to put these cars out there, they're gonna research them. It might even be a little successful this first time, but once they start expanding the test, and once they start putting it into areas where people buy large quantities of pizza or there's a city that they're going to be in, like a real city like San Francisco or San Diego or Los Angeles, they are going to find there are a lot of roadblocks. People don't want these things or they're not convenient and they're ultimately going to have to keep their delivery boys, which um, is all for the better in my opinion. But what's your opinion? Do you agree that this is the future of pizza delivery? Do you think Domino's will succeed? Or do you think this is another pipe dream um, just to kind of get investors excited about the possibility of the future without there being any tangible proof that this future is going to become a reality? I would love to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy the videos I make, consider becoming a Patreon member or buy and subscribe from the Great Me Universe Store. If you donate $10 a month to my Patreon page, you will get access to exclusive videos not available to other YouTubers. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.